Hi guys, it's Chris here with a, uh, another educational video. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we're actually going to be looking at the Apex uh, Steel Series keyboard, um, mainly for key bindings and uh, macros and so forth, um, mainly to do with the MX keys. Um, a lot of people said that it actually can't be done uh, because WoW doesn't actually... Um, recognize these keys nor does a lot of games uh but there is a way around this um well not generically speaking unfortunately you can't actually just macro these things uh, with your key binds in game uh but you can use uh an additional way of doing it which is what i'm going to show you today in this video uh so first what you're going to have to do is as you can see uh with my wow set up at the moment when you go into your key bindings all right you can see that i've got my uh bright action bars and you know my normal action bars and all that sort of stuff here anyway so what i've done is over here on the top right action bar which is generically over the right side of my screen i've actually used an add-on called move anything and just reposition them to where I actually want them. Now, what you can actually do with this thing is, as you can see with uh, right action bar two, I've actually used the shortcuts, Alt one, Alt two, Alt three, Alt four, Alt five, which as you kind of figured, you know, if you've been playing for a while, that, uh, you know, it's a bit of a pain in the ass trying to reach all the way across your keyboard just to try and press these, and it would be much easier if you could use the MX keys. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using these Alt keys here, Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, all the way down to the equals. And we're actually going to bind them uh, to the MX keys using the software. Now, the software I have here is the Apex... Um, Steel Series version free, and I've actually found to be a quite reliable software. Um, their last one, number two, was actually you know it was kind of good, but it also had its uh, downsides to it as well. But uh, we're not here for a uh, review of the software; we're here to learn about the macros. So anyway, what we're going to do, as you can see, I've already got two macros already placed here. So what we'll do for demonstrative purposes is we're going to click on this one here mx3 and then what you're going to do is you're going to use this little drop down right here and then you're going to go to your macros all right as you can see i've got two custom macros already there we're just going to click on the uh, open macro editor now when it opens this up it gives you a option to be able to record key bindings so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one and we're just going to go to the key press macro here all right, so then it brings up a brand new blank box. Now, when we click start, it's automatically going to record whatever keys that we press. And then once we're done, we're just going to click stop, and then we're going to save it, and then we're going to see if it works. So, anyway, we'll click start. Now, for this one, I'm going to use Alt-3. Um, well, just because I don't already have it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So you press Alt, you click 3. And then it comes up with the thing, oh, that one's a bit, um, that was a bit slow. So we'll do that again. So we'll just click start again. And we'll just do it, try and do it as quickly as you can because it makes response time much, much better. So then you're going to stop that. All right, so it goes back to that. Then you're going to click save. All right. There we go. Now it's saved. Now we can exit that one. Now what we're going to do is, because we're already selected MX3, we're going to go over here to this one, and we're just going to select that. But you also want to make sure, see where it says here, uh, play on key. Uh, this one says that it's play on key when it's pushed down, but because it's uh, a macro, and the way we set up, we want to have it so it's on release. So the second that you let go of the key, it will be activated. It really depends on your preference. I prefer it when you release the key because I don't ex exactly expect to be holding on to Alt Three for a long time during, say, you know, a, a battleground or a raid, or, you know, depending on whatever it is. So anyway, now that we've done that, we're just going to click Done, and as you can see, it says that there's a little purple thing there, and that the key binding macro or key press macro has actually been inserted into the thing. Um, now we just minimize that. All right, so we've got these ones in here now. Now. Uh, because I used the Alt-3, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move 
my mount, which is my uh, Obsidian Nightwing. I'm just going to move it up to Alt 3 and show you. And there we go. Now, as I said before, like, you know, this is just one way to do it, but it's the only way that I found it actually works. And unfortunately, you do have to try and, you know, sacrifice a bar in order to get this to work. But, you know, it can be very beneficial, especially when you're doing raids, especially when you're doing dungeons and, you know, content like uh you know especially with the newer content you know especially with warlords of Renner and the new patch that they just put out 6.2 uh it's you know it's very very helpful because you know it can be quite a pain when you have all of these macros going across here you know all the way out to f11 you know or shift to zero or whatever and reaching halfway across your keyboard just to get out that one spell that you really need desperately so um this is probably the best and easiest way to do it uh, well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, well, please, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, you know, it'll help it grow, and, you know, just uh, leave your comments, tell me what you thought of the video, and, uh, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like it, if you do, you know, if there's something I could improve on, if there's a better way to do this, you know, please let me know. Well, thanks again for watching, this is Chris, and I'm out.